It's early. Good morning. I'm getting ready to shove off to the market. This was the first one I made of these. I call them helping hands. Uh, and it's really simple. This is the second one. A little more refined. It, the plastic, the, it's, it's fuel line. It was purple. Now it's, uh, it's faded out. It's been on the bike for quite a while. Uh... These are the latest ones I made. They're a little more refined. Uh, this is the third generation. It's basically two pieces of wire and some shrink tubing. There's actually shrink tubing inside the shrink tubing. I, I twisted it very, very tight and shrink tubed it. Then I put something on the outside. This is my latest generation. And you can see today it's a very important mission. Uh, I got my uh, 12 little uh, reserve tanks need to be refilled. So that's one of the projects. Along with the honeydew list of things to pick up while I'm out. So I, I take full advantage of them. I can have my, my hat for my little pointed head when I get off the motorcycle so my head doesn't burn. And this is made from scrap wire. You can buy this wire in any hardware store in the Philippines. It's everywhere. Um, this is some stuff I had left over kicking around. <laughs> the original XO100 tires. But this side of a lot of this wire kicking around. It's really useful. Everybody has it. That in fuel line. This is uh, 16 inches. Uh, that was the number. That was the, that seemed to be the, the magic number was 16 inches. That seemed like to work out the rest. So it's just fuel line, wire, and a little shrink tubing. But man, they're really uh, they're really versatile and useful. I en I enjoy making them and uh, trying to perfect them. And also I, I use them. And I, and I gave a lot away yesterday at the uh, the TVS. Um, uh, camp, uh, the service camp in Ordinetta. I gave away uh, quite a few of them. So, hope people get use out of them and uh, thanks for watching my video. Share my video, like my video. Um, hit the notification bell, definitely, and uh, thank you very much.